here's how to change the names that your computer sees from your Mio X series interface connected via USB. On RTP, you can have the session names, whatever you want, but on USB, they're already populated. So let's show you how to change that out. First thing you want to do is you want to exit any program that's actually accessing the device. So I have Ableton Live open. So let me just close that. And I'm going to use my Mio XL. This guy right here. And you can see it says DIN 1, DIN 2, etc. It's on the default. So I'm going to go into Oracle for X series. Let's go to MIDI routing. And then what we want to do is we don't want DIN, we don't want the USB device, we want to go to the DAW port. So I'm going to go to the DIN. And I'm just going to change this one port. This will show you how to do it for all of them. Hit this, you have to click on the actual port you want to change. Hit the little icon here, little pencil. And we're going to name it Gear 1. Pretty, pretty simple. There you go. You see it's renamed now. And if I was to go in to route anything in or out of it, um, it'll also be changed. see it hasn't it updated right there there you go gear one um, so in order to get this to show up we're done with Oracle for X series right now we just need to go into MIDI studio so go to the spotlight search go to audio MIDI setup if you don't see this page go to window and go to show MIDI studio so here's my device you can see it's kind of in a lighter color right now so I'm gonna unplug the USB cable from my Mio XL You can see it kind of dark, darkened out, kind of grayed out here. So we're going to click on it. We're going to hit this little negative button. And then I'm just going to plug the device back in. A note to make is that if you have any extra routings in here, you need to make sure that you delete the device from every other routing. Uh, most people don't use these, but if they're there, um, it's important to get that. So now, here's my Mio XL. Let's come back up. It's rescanned it as a new device because I deleted it. Um, you can notice it doesn't say T-Shows Mio XL anymore. Um, and you can see the first port is named Gear 1. Uh, if I wanted to rename it as T-Show, you can check out my other video. I'll link it in the description. Basically, you just need to do that. And there we go. All right. So we're back to that, and then if we go into a DAW, let me go back into Ableton. We can hit our command comma, which is your preferences. Go to link MIDI. If I scroll down to my Mio XL, you can see the very first port here above DIN 2 is gear 1. So if you have any questions, let me know.